Well, hello, friends. I bet you wonder what I've been doing with my day today. Well, I have been trying to finish up my July list of little chores, plus uh, trying to do some of my regular daily things. We had some uh, wet stuff fall from the sky today, and so I've been a little delayed behind some of what I was gonna do. But uh, I'm glad to see you here today. And I'm so excited to tell you, finally getting around to starting another pineapple. This little guy doesn't look so good now, but when I first bought it, it did. So I've got the leaves off. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'm just gonna turn this upside down in a pot and leave it outside for a while and hope nothing eats it. Today, friends, yeah, I'm, let me just take a breath here. <laughs> well, friends, today I've started doing a, even a couple more things that I said I was gonna do this, this summer. You remember the tree, I talked about the Bobowi. I don't know if that's the name of it, but I'm gonna put, put it down here. I never did start the, the seeds for this, just started trying to crack this. Uh, I think I got a knife around here somewhere. I'm not gonna do this where you can see me. Don't worry, it's all gonna be okay. This is what I just took out. I think that would usually have been the fruit, but this is an old, old one. And what I want anyway is probably inside there. And it is, it is a seed. So I'm gonna try at least six of them because six is my favorite number, so why not? I'm gonna get six of these out and soak them for about 24 hours and then put them in soil. But friends, today we had a friend that had a question. Uh, she was asking about Ikomani. And you know, it's just like the Ijodo. When you go to look that up, you can't find anything. If you look up Ijodo, I'll put the name here, you will see two of my videos. If you look up Ikomani, you will find one of my videos because I haven't really done that much with Ikomani. But we have a friend and her channel is Growing on Vancouver Island. And I will put the link to her channel in the description box. She's curious about Ikomani. So let's just talk about the life cycle of this plant just a little bit. When we grow Ikomani, a lot of times here, they like to climb. Where quiet comes from in Zimbabwe, they don't climb. But here it's like if they get close to a tree, they will climb up. And that's where we find this baby. This one got too old to eat, but I don't know if you can hear the seeds inside. That's what's inside. And my husband says, so long as those seeds stay in there, they'll be safe to use. So to use them, you have to crack it. And it's just about as hard as this little baby here to crack. Yeah, so we're not gonna do that today. You've already seen that happen in another video. But I do happen to have seeds, because we had to crack one this summer to get seeds. Now these aren't the most beautiful seeds, friends. Really, they're not. Some seeds, when you get them out, they're nice and shiny and beautiful, but you know, these guys aren't really all that beautiful. Yeah. I hope this uh, piece of college rule paper helps you size these seeds a little bit. And you've seen the plants I've been growing. Let's go take a look and see if we could find it in different stages. And we've looked at the leaves of these plants. They're soft. But they don't seem to have like fine hair on them. They feel almost like velvet, real soft. And right now, none of the flowers are open, but we've all seen the flowers. And maybe I could find a picture for you. And then we need to find a little one. Oh, look. There's two of them right together. They're kind of in the shade. Oh, here's one that's even younger. Oh, here's one that's even younger. Look at that. Cute little baby. And then they get bigger. It's a little bigger. A little fuzzy there. 
still a little fuzz. You can see the little fuzz coming on along here. Isn't that cute? Still a little soft baby fuzz there. Um, there we go. Oh, hold on. What is this over here? This one looks a little strange to me. Hmm. I don't know what's going on there. This one's got like green stripes. New, new, new to me. But this one, I think, might be what we, we are looking for. This one is ripe and ready to eat, but not overripe. When I can stick my fingernail in, they're ripe and ready. So let's take this one in. Here we go, friends. You can see the texture of this is kind of bumpy. But like I said, it's soft enough I can easily put my fingernail in. So this one is ready, ripe and ready. Let's take a look at what it looks like on the inside. Pat, remove that stem. There we go. This is what it looks like on the inside. You can see that if I let this go any longer, it would have like uh, seeds. And how do you prepare this? You just put it in water and boil it. I'm gonna do a few things. Well, I'm gonna put this into boil and then we're gonna meet right back here in a little bit. Well, here we go, friends. This is what we're looking like. And here's how we eat it. Just kind of smoosh it up on the inside here. We generally have this for breakfast, but Quiet says it's a uh, it could be an anytime meal. So I'm trying it for dinner this is the first time. We'll see how it holds me. Okay, smoosh it up. Sprinkle with sugar. A little sugar here. Sprinkle it up. There we go. Gonna mix it a little more. And then a little milk. I've got the uh, oat milk here, you guys. Yeah. And for a little taste. Mm-hmm. It's very good. You know, hold on. I should probably taste this. Back here without any sugar. Hmm? I've always said to myself, I think this is a lot like a potato. And that tastes a whole lot like potato. Only, you know, it's um, the fill in your mouth. It's a little more starchy than, um, than a zucchini. But yeah, this gives me the feel of potato. <laughs> and this gives me the feel of a hot cereal. Mm hmm Well, friends, that is all I have for today. So I'm going to have to say goodbye now and eat my dinner while it's still hot. And I just want to thank you all for, for watching. And I want to thank our friend for asking the question. And um, I am going to put um, maybe the link to my other video in the description box. But I think it's probably just about the same as this. Um, well, that's all I have, friends. I just hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, I'm going to have to say bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>
See you in the comments.